weakling. You are a disgrace to the Takayanagi name. Big brother. <laughs> 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 So you must be Soichiro Nagi. You're the main dude, huh? I'm amazed you'd be seen in public with that lame-ass getup. Man, this guy looks really tough. I'm always seeking a new challenger. I judge by quality, not quantity. Fighting one exceptional person outweighs 10,000 ordinary people. Huh? But you are not exceptional, Soichiro Nagi. I don't care how strong your power may be. No one is going to bow down to you. Not ever. Boy, stop it! Kiko, Tanshinko Shinden, Gao So Ryu, and Rei Shou! Soichiro-sama! That attack there is one of the best kept secrets within the Takayanagi family. I'm afraid that quasi-Tanshinko you tried is but a fading memory of the one who stole that technique from my people. You'll learn how that grieves me someday. Just like their elder brother did, Shin Natsume. In case you're not aware, he's the man responsible for stealing the power of my fists. What the hell is this guy babbling about? Must you continue this, Maya? People need just one king. Same with the martial arts. Like so many other methods that exist today, the Natsume family is nothing but a branch clinging to the trunk of the historic old Takayanagi tree. It seems as if once again, the martial arts are converging around our family. Will you finally stop with this feudal persistence? I'm surprised you can move with that injury. You've gotten stronger. Mitsuomi, I just... You know that it's not too late. Come back under my wing. Like we used to be. I'm afraid that time only moves forward, Mitsuomi. I'll never be able to forgive you for all the things you've done to so many people and for what you did to my brother. But the worst thing you did, the thing I will never forgive you for, is taking away the only place that I ever felt safe. Please forgive me. You offered me advice as the Executive Council's advisor, but I took control of the squads and ignored it. And now everyone's hurt. Sagara, and Tagami as well. You should never have made the decisions that you made. Dividing up your squads because your opponent has is the epitome of foolishness. Each of them should have been attacked with overwhelming force. It's quite simple. Y yes, sir. Tagami, alive or dead? Uh, uh... Yep, all's well that ends well. Surprisingly enough, Mitsuomi is on the move. Natsume has suffered a serious injury, and the two freshmen ain't got a chance against Mitsuomi. I'll give him two more minutes, if that. It's a simple ending, really. Two long years of fighting, which must have seemed like an eternity to Natsume, all wrapped up within two short minutes. You know, I still don't get it, though. If this could end inside of just two minutes, why'd Mitsuomi wait till now to do something? Well, maybe he didn't intend on destroying the Juken Club in the beginning. That was something that only developed later. 
The question still remains, though. After leaving it all be for so long, why do it now? What suddenly made him decide to settle the score? It's hmm? the variables. They are quite real, too. Variables. You can't predict them. I, I'm i sure the president had figured this out. Even a king is going to have challengers. Sagara. Tawara, take this mask and get rid of it for me. It's not something that I will be needing any longer. Two years ago, back when we were freshmen, it was the exact same thing. A king will always be defeated by the one who will be the next king. By now, the Soryusho I delivered to you earlier should have moved through your gallbladder and into the pit of your stomach. You shouldn't be able to move a muscle now, let alone even think about attacking me one more time. Tell me, Maya, is this it? Is this why you're attracted to him? I understand why. It's incredibly apparent. She is usually created within the body itself, and as a consequence, it will only work within that body. That's why there's a limit to the amount of chi one can use. So if you continue to use it, you will eventually run out. Even I face this issue. However, there are a few exceptions to this rule. There are those with enough chi to heal themselves from my attacks almost instantly. It's a limitless chi that warps the atmosphere around the user. Where are you getting all this chi from, freshman? Tell me, did you honestly think this boy would be able to defeat me, Maya? Did you really believe he could overtake the mountain that your older brother could never conquer? What were you thinking? Look at him. Does that boy look like a dragon to you? Uh, it's you, brother. I remember when I first saw this boy's name in the freshman roster. I thought exactly the same thing. Nagi. Suichiro Kengo Nagi. I know whose name this is. Kengo was the name given to the heir of the Nagi family. It was to indicate that he's from the clan that wards off evil. The clan that becomes a spirit to defeat the spirits. I've seen him battle against Masataka and Ryuzaki. I cannot allow this boy to continue to go unchecked. Martial artist with an unparalleled ability to guard himself, but he's really taking some damage right now. It's just like it was last time. This is exactly what happened two years ago. Boy, you really are. Boy, stop it! You truly are a foolish woman, Maya. What do you want? You want to watch me kill yet another one? A martial artist with an unlimited amount of chi. Chi of this nature is not created within the confines of the human body. Some call it God, some a dragon. Others call it an apparition or a demon. There's all sorts of names for it, but they all mean one thing. The chi that exists outside the body in the trees and the wind. People call those that can control such chi, spirits. Spirits use their immense power to perform feats of constant recklessness. Just like your brother used to do. You killed them both. Your brother, and this boy too. Senior at Toto Academy, head of Gaokishi style. 
President of the Executive Council, Mitsuomi Takayanagi, attacks! Why am I not trying to stop this? If Mitsuomi really is ready to fight, that boy doesn't have a prayer. Even if he is a descendant of that clan, he's going to die. The boy is going to die. I've got to do something! Chill! Bunchichi! Goodness. Things were really heating up here. I had to cool this scene down. So tell me, who is it now that's got you all hot and bothered like this? You really don't know when you're needed, do you? If you had just taken control of the squad from the beginning... Now come on, I only joined the Executive Council because you said I didn't have to do anything. Where else can I see high school students kill each other? And bullshit about spirits. You guys are all completely whacked. Now what are you doing harassing such a cute little freshman? Huh, senpai? What happened? Relax, he just checked out. Probably a result of that suffocating aura that follows you wherever you go. See? He's all nice and sweet around a cool cat like me, right? Ah! Hey, what's your deal, punk? I just saved your ass! You ungrateful! You're gonna die for that, you little prick! What are you- Mitsuomi. Me? Just so that you're clear on this, I've no interest in returning to how things were. If it wasn't for my injuries, I would have had no problem fighting you today. Don't lie to me. Nice work! Way to go! Are the police here? There's a few outside, but nothing to be concerned about. We got the employees here scared enough to back us up on the story that we had rented this place out for a bowling tournament. Tell them we'll cover the cost of repairs and throw in some cash for the employees. The Isuzu family will foot the bill. Kagurazaka! Mitsuomi is still inside the building. He told me to warm up his bike like I was some sort of common houseboy. The nerve of that man. What happened to your face? It looks horrible. My face may look like I lost, but I didn't. I spent most of my time making sure I kept Junior in check. <sighs> Mr. Kagurazaka. Now I want to show you what it'll feel like when I go all the way. <laughs> An obvious faint attack. So predictable! fight was over. Have some style. You still have a ways to go. You can become even stronger. He's such an ass. That Mitsuomi. Acting all high and mighty. Look what he's done to my perfect skin. I won't forgive him for this. What? The president was fighting against both Bob and Masataka, and you thought it'd be okay to just stroll outside? Oh, relax. This is Mitsuomi, after all. He bragged that he'd have this whole thing wrapped up in three minutes? <sighs> Listen, you little shit! If anything happens to our president, I will kill you! <sighs> just hold on! What's with her? <sighs> Damn it! What was I thinking? I should never have let him take care of Mitsuomi. He can't even act as a security shield! <gasps> if he was just fighting a one-on-one -on -one battle, I wouldn't care who Mitsuomi was going up against. But this isn't just a one-on-one -on -one battle. It's Isuzu. Are you all right? How's the withdrawal going? We're almost done. Just making sure no one else is here. I owe one to Bunchiji. If I'd kept going with that boy, I might have lost. This is pathetic. I chastise Masataka for wearing out after a measly 80. And I spend just a few minutes fighting a couple of freshmen. And my body's completely spent. 
when he saw Masataka lying there, defeated by me. The anger in that boy's eyes was so very real. All on his own, Masataka has managed to earn the trust of some powerful comrades. It's becoming quite clear that the Takayanagi family is not his place. My father never taught me that allies could be so valuable. But you have allies. You have all of us. The Executive Council. We'd die for you if you asked us to. I know the core members of the Council, like myself and Tagami, all feel that way. You are the bigger power that bonds us together. You must stay alive. You have to do that for us, and for yourself. Even if it's just another day. I'll risk it all, everything, just so I can protect you. If you don't mind, I'd like to come in. No, I should get out of here. Look the other way when I leave. Of course. One last thing, sir. Maya Natsume was a tough opponent. If by chance I had met her before I met you, I could easily have become her friend. I see. <gasps> and I wanted to meet you before I met Maya, too. Okay, kiddo. Rise and shine. Look at you. I expected more than this. I'm disappointed, Takayanagi. <laughs> How is he? He's not up yet? Let me try. Don't you touch him! Why do they have to fight like this? Just look at the two of them! Bob and Nachan are a complete mess! I'm beginning to wonder if all this is just about you! Well, is it? What exactly is all of this about? I want to know what's going on! Why do they keep fighting us? I mean, it turns out that that president guy is nothing more than your ex-boyfriend! What is this, some kind of lover spat? I agree that both Nachon and Bob here have spun off into the deep end since they started this school. But if the two of them hadn't hooked up with you, things would have never gotten this out of control! And as for me... <laughs> All right. Go on and spill it. All of it. Everything that's happened between you and Mitsuomi. They need to know what really went down. That it's not just some high school romance gone horribly awry. Two years ago, Mitsuomi fought... and killed my older brother. <laughs> Calling it a fight is an understatement for what actually happened. What it really was was a death match. My brother lost the fight, and died as a result. What? No one really won that fight. My brother took Mitsuomi's life from him as well. What? He's still alive, but just... just barely. And I'm beginning to wonder if at this point, he'll even have enough time to accomplish what he set out to do. This means I'm beginning to run out of time as well. I have to do something while I still can. I've got to settle the score before he dies. You're awake. Stop beating around the bush already, will ya? Tell us everything that happened. Don't you think we have a right to know exactly what we're up against? All right. But first we have to get ourselves out of this building. We can continue this at home. You got it. It all happened in less than 30 minutes. But together, the two sides managed to put over 100 people on the injured list. Some just had cuts and scrapes, others seriously wounded. I've never understood what my brother was hoping to achieve by becoming president of the executive council. But today I realized that whatever his objective may be, he wants nothing more than to see it fulfilled before he dies. The Executive Council has just confirmed that it sees the Jukin Club as a threat. I imagine the members of the Council will have a much closer bond with each other now. Ironically, by making the Jukin Club stronger, we've made the Council stronger as well. 
We're the ones who lost the battle that day. The five of us behaved like individuals, not club members. We were more divided than all 200 members of the Executive Council. happened between that Mitsuomi guy and the midget chick? Huh? Another guy? Next episode of Tenjo Tenge. Memory. What was it? Some kind of love triangle?